new deadly disease has broken out. Epidemiologist Charles Castro, can you please tell us what model you're using for this virus outbreak? We have modeled the virus outbreak by the function f of x equals 8,000 8, divided by 1 plus 1,000 e to the power of negative 0.12 times x. Can you calculate f of 0? Asking for a friend, of course. We can determine the initial value, where x is equal to 0. To do so, we just substitute the value x equals 0 into the function. Hence, we get 8,000 divided by 1 plus 1,000 e to the power of negative 0 0.12 times 0. Now, anything to the power of 0 is 1 by definition. So, e to the negative 0 0.12 times 0, that's just e to the 0, is equal to 1. Hence, f of 0 equals 8,000 divided by 1 plus 1,000 times 1. So, a thousand times one is just a thousand, and a thousand plus one is a thousand and one. So, we get our final answer of eight thousand divided by one thousand and one. Now, off the top of my head, that is a smidgen less than eight. So, can you find the value of f of 365? So, to calculate this, we just substitute 365 into the function. So we get 8,000 divided by 1 plus 1,000 e to the power of minus 0 0.12 times 365. Now, 1 plus 1,000 e to the power of negative 0 0.12 times 365, off the top of my head is 1. But this is not 1. That is a calculator error. My genius brain knows better than that. It's actually a smidgen more than one. Mmm. But the, the smidgen doesn't really matter for counting infected people. You can't have an infinitesimal amount of infected person. So we'll just say it's one. Now, anything divided by one is itself. So we get 8,000 over one, which is 8,000. And can you interpret the result? 365 days after the disease was diagnosed, the total number of people infected was 8,000. It's actually a smidgen under. This is the maximum amount of infections using this model. So here's the proof. As x approaches infinity, negative 0.12 times x will approach negative infinity. So e to negative infinity will be 0. So the limit as x approaches 0 of 8,000 over, all over 1 plus 1,000 e to the power of negative 0 0.12 times x is going to be 8,000. We reached 8,000 patients a lot sooner than infinity, like a smidgen under, which is about 365, <laughs> because of rounding error. Here's a graph. The x-axis represents the time and day since the diagnosis of the disease. And then the y-axis represents the total cases. So notice this sharp increase. The disease is spreading rapidly. At about 100, it's reaching 8,000. The scale's distorted. I probably should write something. Yeah, it's not to scale. <laughs>